in the 1890s of over a billion packets of seed were distributed for free to farmers around the country. The American Seed Trade Association hired the very first lobbyist to stop the federal seed giveaway, as they called it. By 1924, the federal government's seed program would cease. These great industrialists said, the only way we can really make profit on American agriculture is to invent a seed that they can't save. And that gave birth to the hybrid seed industry. Farmers took it for granted that we go to a shelf in the store to buy our seeds. A profound change, because seed is the beginning of all of it. If you're relying on someone else for your seed, then it's like you're relying for someone else on your soul or something. This is like, this is where it all starts. To not control that part of it is a major abdication of control and responsibility. And yet, uh, we did it wholesale. 90% of the seed that we use to grow our food is owned by chemical companies, by pesticide and pharmaceutical companies. Now there's a huge conflict of interest. When the chemical companies own the seeds, they not only want you dependent on the seed as a farmer, but they also want you dependent on their chemicals. We use 80 million pounds a year of atrazine just in the U.S. Atrazine leads to promoting breast cancer. It's associated with miscarriages and birth defects. We should have learned this lesson way back with DDT. And we're just learning it over and over and over and over and over again. They said, we want to really own these seeds. We want patents on life. Monsanto takes one gene out of tens of thousands of genes, changes that and says, no, no, now we own the whole plant. It's one of the most extraordinary giveaways, giving corporations the natural reproduction of all life forms, saying, you can make a profit on every one of those reproductions. So they don't just own the seeds. They own all of the offspring of those seeds and patent them forever.